Hello students, I'm feeling thankful that it's Thursday. Let's find a place where we have some space to enjoy our stretch. I'm gonna take a big breath and blow it all out like a loud balloon. Here we go. When I'm here in downward frog, I wiggle and I feel a stretch in my ankles. I can wobble around and feel a stretch in my knees. I can wiggle some more and feel a stretch in my hips. Now I'm going to drop my hands, drop my head and stretch my legs. And I'm gonna roll up. And now I'm gonna stand straight and tall but not stiff. My feet are shoulder width apart and I'm going to enjoy my breathing. I'm gonna close my eyes and breathe in and out and in and out. And on this thankful Thursday, I'm going to get a picture in my mind of something or someone I'm thankful for. I'm breathing in and out. I might have a picture in my mind of a family member I'm thankful for breathing in and out. I could send them love. I might have a picture in my mind of something special that keeps me cozy and safe. Maybe I have a special space in my home. Maybe I love going to the park. I could be imagining somewhere wonderful that I'm thankful for as I breathe in and out. Breathing in and out and imagining something that I am thankful for. So I'm wondering what you imagined. And later in our meeting, we'll talk about it. Did you imagine a family member or someone who cares for you? Are you thankful for them? Did you imagine somewhere special? Maybe a cozy corner of your apartment or home? maybe somewhere special like the park, maybe somewhere you go with your family. You could be thankful for those things. You could be thankful for a family pet. You could be thankful for a special book. I look forward to hearing more about it. Give me a minute and I'll set up the camera for our songs and poems. Hello students. To begin, let's review the new poem we learned yesterday about Thanksgiving, complete with a cornucopia. So here we go, Thanksgiving holiday. Thanksgiving is a holiday each November brings when we are very thankful for many happy things. Our homes, our friends, the food we eat, our good times through the year. I like Thanksgiving very much. I'm really glad it's here. I agree. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it with the actions. Thanksgiving is a holiday each November brings when we are very thankful for many happy things. Our homes, our friends, the food we eat, our good times through the year. I like Thanksgiving very much. I'm really glad it's here. So you could kind of go really glad it's here or really glad it's here. <laughs> I guess you can cheer for Thanksgiving any way you like. Let's go ahead and do grinding corn. Get our little Molina ready. Molinas listas. Grinding corn, grinding corn. Here we are grinding corn. Grains are red and yellow. Blue and white corn I am grinding. Okay, and because it's Thursday, I decided I want to start a new tradition I'm feeling especially, especially thankful on Thursday. So let's sing the Johnny Appleseed song. Here we go. The world is good to me, and so I thank the world for giving me the things I need, the sun and the rain and an apple seed. The world's been good to me. Oh, here am I, neath the blue, blue sky, doing as I please, singing with my feathered friends, humming with the bees. I wake up every day as happy as can be, because I know that with good care, my apple trees, they will still be there. Oh, the world's been good to me. 
Okay, let's take a look at our message. November 19th, 2020. Dear students, today we will learn about some new settlers. Hmm. What do you know about da, da, da. Jamestown, Captain John Smith, Christopher Newport, Mrs. Kilmer? What do you know about Mrs. Kilmer? Actually, you know, there's a mistake in this message. I wonder if any of you know this. Let's review it. Maybe you'll find it. Here we go. Today we will learn about some new settlers. So we've been learning about Pocahontas and the Powhatan. And we've also been learning that it's Powhatan, not Powhatan. Um, and something that's going to happen in the book that I read for the read aloud, and we're going to learn this some more, is how some new settlers will come to the area that is now Virginia, right? And this says what. So that's a question word, right? What do you know about Jamestown? But what's missing? What is missing on all three of these words? The three of these things? A question mark, right? If I'm asking you what, I better have a question mark. Let me fix that quick. And then I also want to point out something. If you notice, I'm asking you, <clears throat> what do you know about Jamestown? Captain John Smith, Christopher Newport. Those words are all starting with what kind of letters? Capital letters, right? Because they're all names. Jamestown is the name of something. Captain John Smith, I think, is the name of a person. Christopher Newport, the name of a person. So they all have to start with capital letters. So what do you know? I think some of you might already know some things about Jamestown. Captain John Smith, we've already heard about in one of our Pocahontas stories. And Christopher Newport, not sure if you know about him. I look forward to hearing from you as soon as we meet in our meeting. See you in a minute. Bye.